Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video, I want to take a 9-box layout using Flexbox and convert it into an 8-box layout. Alright, so this is another solution to a portion of an uh, assignment this week for the web development students. And basically the plan was that on the web page for wide screens, we're going to have 9 boxes in a 3 by 3 grid. And for a narrow device, we're going to change that out to eight boxes going in uh, uh, two by four, which means we will have to get rid of one of those boxes. Not going to be a problem, though. So let's head over to the HTML. And there's nothing in the body of my page yet, so let me go ahead and set that up. And the first one I will do, let's go ahead. div class equals flex container. And within that, I'm going to do a div class equals inner box. And I'll just do a Alt Shift 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I think it was a little too many there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Oh, that's good. Close up that space. So now that's the basic HTML structure that I want. I've got a flex container and then I've got some flex children in there. So let's go ahead and do the setup. Now my flex container for my CSS, definitely going to do display flex. And I'm also going to go ahead and do a flex flow row and wrap. Take care of that. Now for the children, my inner box, those are going to be flex 1, 0, oh, and I'll do a 33%. Because I want these to be side by side with three, and that should fill them up. However, I'm going to need to be able to see these a little bit better. So I'm going to give them a border that I can visualize. So I'll do five pixels solid and a dark gray. And then I'm also going to uh, give them a min height of about 33.333 .33 viewport height. So that should pretty much fill up the screen. Let's see what happens now. Let me head over to my browser and refresh. And sure enough, I can visualize those those boxes all side by side, regardless of the width of my device. However, when I go narrow, I do want this to change. Instead of three rows of three, I want four rows of two. So I'm going to need a little media query to go on here, at media screen, and I'll do a max width of, I'll do 800 pixels, set of curly braces. Now for this one, basically I'm going to be changing the structure of the inner box. I'm not going to be changing my flex container. Since I'm not changing my flex container rule, I don't have to put that in my alternate media query. But I am going to be changing my inner box. So let me go ahead and copy that and paste. So what am I going to change? Let's go ahead and indent that a little bit. Well for the flex, I'm going to do 1, 0, and I'm going to change this out to 50% because I want four rows of two so that means I want two per row so that's definitely going to change now the border is not going to change so I don't need to repeat something that's not going to change the min height well that is going to change as well because now I'm going to end up with four rows instead of three rows so I'm going to change my min height to 25 viewport heights so which is equivalent to about 25% now that I've got that, I also, in fact, we should be able to see something with this, by the way. So let's head over to the browser and refresh. And you can see that I do have four rows of two. However, I still have that last one on there. So let me get rid of that last inner box. So I'm going to create another rule for inner box. And I'll just do last child and display none. So basically, the last child inner box is going to be set to display none. So control S to save, head to the browser and refresh. And there we go. So on a wider layout, I'm going to have a grid of nine. And on a narrow layout, I'm going to have a grid of eight. And that is the basics for taking our nine box layout to an eight box layout. We're simply changing the flex basis on here and also setting display none to one of our elements. Take care.